Okay, so as you can see, I have a lot of uh, headbands here in the studio uh, for newborn babies and uh, normally I don't make them myself, I buy them from different vendors here in the Netherlands. I like to support local businesses, they have so much creativity and time to make them. I don't have a lot of time to make them, but I thought it would be cool just to show you a way on, of how you can make newborn headbands. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to make it. Um, pretty much all you need is a piece of like jersey stretchy material. At least I like my headbands to be stretchy. You can use Tyvex as well, but I like it when it's like a stretchy material. So I have a piece of jersey here. Um, I went to the market with my son and I bought some uh, syn synthetic fabrics. So I went to the market with my son. I bought some synthetic fabrics. I think they were about three or five euros per meter. Um, I bought three different colors. I actually bought two and then I got one for free because one was a little bit damaged. And um, yeah, what else do you need? A scissors and a glue gun, uh, a candle, um, some fire. So yeah, first uh, what I did was I cut little circles out of the synthetic fabric. They don't have to be perfect circles. And then I would, uh, with a tweezer, hold the little circle above a burning flame, like a burning candle. I would put the candle in a cup, like a glass, so the heat was more in one spot. And then I would hold the piece of synthetic fabric above it until the edges would kind of like melt together. I did it in the kitchen where there's good air circulation. Like I can imagine that if the synthetic material is melting a little bit, it's quite toxic to breathe it in. So you can do it maybe outside, just do it a little bit. Uh, I did it right above the stove where the air is being suctioned out um, and yeah, it's it's really fast. Now I have my little flowers because actually what this synthetic fabric does, the edges melt above the fire, they uh, come together kind of like in this flower shape form. And then if you put several on top of each other, you can create beautiful flowers. So now I have my little flowers right here. Let me just show you. I wanted to do it at the table, but then I don't have my tripod here, which I should definitely get so you couldn't see me. So here you have the little flowers that I made. Um, so I'm gonna take these flowers and then put them on like a piece of jersey stretched fabric. So I have this wrap that I use during newborn sessions. I wrap the baby. I actually have two of them, um, but it's, it's quite a wide wrap, so I can just make it a little bit smaller. Um, and then it's fun because then the headband will match the actual wrap that the baby's wearing. This one is stretching in both directions. I feel like here it has a little bit more stretch and I want to have the side that has the most stretch. Um, let me see if I just cut it and then rip it. Rip it, what happens? So I'll just cut it here a little bit. No, so that doesn't work. <laughs> so I actually have to cut it. That's what the people at the market always do, they just rip it. I think I did it before. Just one more try, I'm a little bit stubborn. No, 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 no. See how it curls together when you cut it. Okay, so let me just cut, cut, cut. So here I now have my headband, my tie bag for little newborns. And you can see how it all, like it's actually quite wide, but it just curls up the edges, which is nice, because then it's not as wide. I like the more petite looking one, so I might just make it a little bit thinner, like if I make more. But anyway, in the middle it's quite big, which is what I want, because here I want to paste my beautiful flowers on the material. And here you go. Your own DIY simple headband with a little flower. See, so yeah, I don't know if you remember from the video where I made the wreath. So I have a lot of this like leftover uh, material and you can always edit in your um, your headbands as well so if like if I just cut off like a little part just the edge okay. and then you can just paste it somewhere like add a little bit of green 
I don't like the color green as much, but um, everything's possible with a glue gun. <laughs> Here I'm just putting, they're still like non-glued, but just seeing what I like, just a little bit more flowers. This one is already glued onto it. And then I have one flower left here to make it like really simple, uh, but I'm still seeing what else I can add. <laughs> So here I am with my three tie bags and um, I'm planning on using them today as well. I have a sitter session, a cake smash session and a newborn session and they're all with little girls. So during one of these sessions, I think I would be able to use at least one tie bag. Um, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to um, tie them um, and then I can easily adjust the size. So I think it's called a slip knot. Not quite sure, but you actually just hold one of the straps and then with the other strap you just tie like a knot around the other strap. So here I have, uh, this is the strap I'm going to tie it around with this one. So I just make a knot around the other strap like this. And now I can easily adjust the size, like I'll make it a little tighter. So here I can make it smaller, here I can make it bigger, and yeah, that's just great. I'm just going to make the knot a little bit more in the middle, in the back, widen it, make it smaller, make it bigger. Yes, so that's how I tie the knot, so you can easily adjust the size. So yeah, I'm not selling headbands, I'm still buying headbands from local vendors or maybe like even uh, vendors which are not that local but just really awesome and what you often see is that they present these tie bags on a beautiful piece of paper i really like this design look how cool it is anyway, this is not the design i'm picking this one look how pretty so i'm gonna present my headbands on this paper to make them look even better but i mean if you are a vendor it's always nice to ship your headbands on like a piece of cool looking cardboard because it makes it so nice when you open your packages i might have to cut off a little bit of the ends because i don't want to look them when i see them in the photo but yeah isn't this pretty so here you have my homemade very easy to make headbands for newborns tie bags <laughs> I just finished the newborn session and I got to use these ones, uh, all three of them actually, so that's really cool. Uh, beautiful little girl. Today, also during the cakes my session, I used one of the headbands, but only during the portrait photos at the beginning, because by the time she wanted to smash the cake, she pulled the headband on and she really didn't want to have it on anymore. But anyway, I'm really excited I got to use them.
It should not be a headband that you put on your baby and then just go and do something else because um, it's not baby proof. Like they can take it off their head and then put it in their mouth and the flowers might come off and you don't want that because they can choke on it. So it's not like a headband that you can just put on your baby and uh, make her look cute and just leave her out of your sight. So it's more of a headband that can be used during a photo session when being supervised the whole time and um, just yeah it's probably like on the baby's head for about five minutes and then removed uh, but just for a few photos so yeah i really hope you enjoyed watching this video on how to make very easy do-it-yourself newborn stretchy headbands um i might make some more in the future some different ones this time i made them without my daughter maybe next time i'll go crafting with my daughter again and then um I can just record a video on how to make newborn headbands. So I really hope you enjoyed watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Then I'll see you in the comments and you'll see me in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.